And this is the new wrinkle that we saw on Thursday against Grambling. So Peltier and Lung go as the starters, Richards and Streisick. Worth looking at Natalie Mitchell, two goals this year, third team all ACC selection. Service across, Grace Quarter was in good position. Still a dangerous chance for Weir, and Villebrandt dives over to get it. Had to kind of lead herself maybe just a little too far there. Seven, two, and one on the season. The Guzman, service across, looking for the header, Villebrandt keeps it out. Great chance for Sarah Rosenbaum. This Both teams create a lot of corner kicks. It'll be a factor today. That's a deep one. Looking back post, it's wide. Coming in from Anna Weir. Victory against Boston College last September. Long way to go for that one. Still a chance on the header, and it finds its way in. Chance early, and the Wisconsin transfer is able to cash in on this one. The initial service was overhead, sent back in beautifully, and she's able. Good punch forward. Taylor Price had a great chance. For Virginia Tech. We are trying to get in. A lot of white jerseys over there. And there's a foul called against Sagala. But this could be the Eagles feeling like maybe there's some momentum going their way. Watch Sagala, number nine in white for Boston College. See that left arm extend. It's so hard because, at least in my view, is that a foul? Yes, but maybe somewhere else in the field you call it. And with a player running away from the goal, the ball going out of bounds, and... But again, you can see that left arm extend, and it does indeed extend. So the penalty is confirmed, and a chance for Virginia Tech, just as it felt like there maybe was some momentum the other way. Austin College has not allowed an opponent to score on a penalty this year. Natalie Mitchell to take it, and missed wide. Wow. To take it, still down 1-0. Went up on 19 minutes remaining. Her top deep one, looking for a header, it's Dre, it's on, it's in! Played such a good second half, and this is wonderful service. She goes over the top. Dominated the first half. But as long as it's one, that ball's over top. Oh, that was a dangerous ball from Valenti, and it got deflected. Streisig again to take it, going deeper this time. Quarters there on a header. Richards trying to find a shot, gets knocked down. No call. Or in fact, now it looks like they do call it. You took a long time to make this call, and, <laughs> and, and he said, I agree, I did. I mean, to me, if, if the one down at the other end that we talked about is, then... This one's a little trickier because Ella Richards is kind of fighting for that ball, but there is, and the call stands. All right. Shots in this game at one point were 11 nil Virginia Tech this year. For the lead. Yes. is able to go ahead 2-1. It's a guessing game a lot of the time. Hargrove guesses. Richards has help out wide, comes back left. Got knocked down, then Sagala, great save! Rebounds loose for Long, she scores! A whole half, maybe 70 minutes, where we felt like Boston College was the second to every ball. They've been first to every ball the last 20 or so. Having a shot, they held the belief that they could score the whole time. And now they've done it three times. Virginia Tech still pushing here. De Guzman over top. Here's a chance for Weir could save Villebrandt. With 1.38 to go. What a turnaround. From no shots in 70 minutes to a 3-1 Boston College win. 
first conference win for the Eagles since October 2022.